Greetings, ascending star blossoms of the golden age, rising higher and higher through this great ascension process. Day by day, in every way, we rise higher and higher with the sacred winds and the holy breath of the great spirit, the wind at our back. As we are riding these waves into the new earth, we had many powerful energies coming in of the higher dimensions. We also had a blackout with these timeline leaps. The merging of timelines which appeared for many hours on the Schumann resonance through the night. Then today we had 5D energies coming in with the power of 39, 12 of the Divine Goddess, and 47, 11 of the Great Portal opening. And each day as we rise... We go deeper and deeper into our I Am Presence. And be sure every morning upon awakening when your feet firmly touch the ground, with great confidence and courage say, I am the presence filling my world with perfection this day. I am the pure mind of God, Creator, Source. Last night, as I was preparing for yesterday's discourse of the I Am Presence, I showed my sacred condor the image I used. It was this bright pink background with an image of St. Germain and Lady Portia with the pink rose of the Sisterhood of the Rose. And then today, this morning, as I stepped out on the balcony, my queen was inside. A hummingbird flew up and turned to me, and she had the brightest pink crown with ruby highlights blasting me with this rose energy, this pink rose. Our little friend, the Walela, the hummingbird, comes to us every day now. Now it does help that we do feed her, which, <laughs> which we do enjoy her presence. And she does make the most precious sounds. So if you've been following us on this 33 day of Discourses of St. Germain on our Patreon page, today... We uploaded day 16. We're about halfway through the 33 days of the power manifestation through our I Am Presence. And many are already receiving and experiencing powerful activations and transformations through these discourses of the I Am here now in this body where I always am, the sacred temple of God, our sacred vessel. 144 coming in. We're seeing that the next 43 days are going to be very powerful activations. One timeline that is coming through our Hebrew friends and our Christian friends with these rapture energies. We're seeing this full moon on the 27th being the activation portal. This is also connected to what we call the compression breakthrough or the event. We don't know what the timeline looks like, but there's many synchronicities and alignments through this full moon the Saturday on the 27th, the full moon in Virgo, and for the next 40 days after that, which will end on April 8th, there are many synchronicities and signs that are showing these rapture energies coming in, the Christ consciousness, the freedom codes, the divine union codes, many different things. So just be conscious, be aware, and do your best to every day live in your I Am presence, knowing that everything is in divine order, that you live in in the perfection, in the mind of God, the pure awareness, the pure mind, the pure consciousness that penetrates through and beyond all veils, all amnesia, all forgetfulness into the one true light of eternal bliss consciousness. Many higher light codes, frequencies coming in. Today is the 34th anniversary of the supernova Quetzalcoatl also Kin 72, half of 144, which we will cover all of these in today's transmissions. It is yellow, resonant, human of enlightenment. We also had 144 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. The most powerful activation in Iceland 5.6. We had many activations in the sacred portal of Iceland. The mirror 441 coming in. These were just south of the Arctic Circle, the North Atlantic Ocean, by the Norwegian Sea, Greenland Sea. This is connected to the Soul Star Spark, and also 
in the transmission today, the genetic Royal Flame Star Drive, the Royal Lyra Nation and the Lemurian 5 activated. They are with us now. Earlier today, New Zealand on the Ring of Fire 4-5, Mexico 4-4, Iran 4-9, Croatia 3.9. Then we had a 4-5 in Iceland, and then the most powerful 5-6 Iceland, and then a 4-8, 4-6, another 4-9. So we had 4-1 right after another, major activations of our soul star spark connected to our solar plexus and our heart center, Wyoming 3.6, Council of Nine Energy, another 4.7 in Iceland, Greece, Fry 4.1, Chile, South America, we had a 4.7 and a 4.4, New Zealand 4.3, Bangladesh 4.5, Dominican Republic 3.0, another activation in the portal of Croatia 4.3, Guam 5.1, and then a 3.9 in Chile. The Ring of Fire totally activated and lit up again today. The true queen has returned with her crown, birthing the royal legion of light. Step aside, red queen, the white queen has returned, and the madman has returned to his kingdom, the kingdom of heaven within. We begin again today with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 8 degrees, 18 minutes Leo, the 8-8 Lion's Gate, the Lyra Nation. Here with us now the sun is at 6 degrees, 45 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the moon, 9 degrees Leo, a communist activist spreading his revolutionary ideas. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 7 degrees Pisces, illuminated by a shaft of light. A large cross lies on rocks surrounded by sea and mist from astrologyweekly.com and from S.A. Smith, a girl in the universe. Schumann resonance spiking earlier, but the big energies are hitting now. Something strange is happening again with the Schumann resonance. We always have energies incoming now, but I only post when they're being felt incoming. When the Schumann was spiking earlier, we did have energies happening they were just the same we've had all day. Now though at this moment they are beginning to really layer in. Big energies are flowing in, bringing with it some upgrades for the collective. With the upgrades come at the ascension symptoms and they are intense. Blurry vision, ears ringing, hot and cold fluctuations, fatigue, big time, Tingling in extremities, head pressure, stomach issues. Be you, take care of you. Another dense layer of energies are coming in after these. So rest is called. Self-care is so important. Things are happening fast for you now. Remember, this is all for your greater and higher good. Much love and light. S.A. Smith, a girl in the universe.com. Today from Divine Bro, Star of the Light, Mauta Taki, 707. Ma i ta tahi, divine illuminary Huna Maita Tahi has returned. Planet Huna is confirmed. Welcome to Ki Mu Ria, age of Lumoria five. Today from divine sister of the light Amanda Lawrence, way showers since last night UK time, twenty third February, twenty twenty one. We have been receiving a huge influx of incoming energies to our bodies. While there are the typical and multiple vibrations within these latest influx, there is a new vibration pattern, never received before to the heart energy center. Best advice, know your needs, honor your needs, honor your body as it's speaking its own body language to you. Just allow the integration of these strong and current energies that are still arriving and require that physical integration from the initial arriving waveforms into the human physical cellular body. No one else outside of you knows your immediate and changeable needs better than you do in any moment. So it is up to you to listen and honor yourself. As always, energies are 24-7, and as they come in, it takes three days to integrate even just one energy pattern into our bodies. We are receiving a lot of higher hertz frequency, which means at human level, faster energetic spin. So find peace in accepting you are receiving more and more energy patterns and of higher and higher frequencies to expand you. 
No one receives more hertz frequency than they can truly withstand. You've got this. So find the peace that is always available within you to choose it if you wish to be in peace during higher frequency bombardment. So much love always, Amanda. Today from Divine Sister of Light, Karen Lithica. Rainbows of light, like a rainbow of infinite colors, know you are uniting into a spectrum of light. We ask you to open your heart to this multidimensional creation. See it forming all around you as you join together in unity, brothers and sisters. Feel your way into this alignment. Feel beyond the limitations of your eyes. There are no limitations or boundaries now. You, for you are reaching beyond your third dimensional reality. Your heightened senses are awakening as you navigate your way beyond the 3D framework. See the rainbow. See the symbolism of the colors perfectly forming and uniting. A global event. Aligned and in tune with the creation of your reality. We ask you to take it a step further and challenge the construct of the rainbow. The creation behind the construct. To see the meaning of the purity of the colors uniting, always shining so brightly, a symbolism of hope and the prosperity of unity. For after a storm comes the rainbow, the transition of an event, uniting all colors, forming union of light. Feel within to see the joyous connection it brings to every cell, activating a higher aspect of you. Know we see the great rainbow forming as you join in a union of light. The union of many, a framework of love equals unity. To see the sun and rainbow assisting you, for they are collectively part of Gaia, part of her framework. They hold the formula of your construct. They are your family. Know you are doing wonderfully well as you continue to prosper, align, and join. To assist others and to find peace and joy in your world of light. Sending waves of galactic love, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica. From KarenLithica.com, today from Divine Bro, Star of the Light, Pars Kute. We are in a new timeline of compassion and love. The avalanche of divine energy downloads are now pouring in for all of us. These downloads will enter directly into our energy fields and they will allow us to filter out what we do not want and what does not serve our highest good and the greatest good any longer. We are receiving these downloads in perfect divine timing, and they will be continuing until the time of our March equinox. We are shifting into a higher vibrational state of consciousness of existence, where evil cannot dwell and light reigns supreme. The entire world is changing for those that see it. Do you feel the shift? With sacred love of one, Pars Kute. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, Servant of Yahweh. Freedom of the divine masculine Christ's heart occurred overnight. This was a tower moment that collapsed old timelines of Genesis for the Adam bloodline. Collectively, the divine masculine Christ are now birthing unconditional love for their divine feminine Christ. The new family tree of Regenesis 2.0 and the new bloodline of the Holy Grail. The seed entry point of the narcissist in your union has been exposed. Destiny is here bringing great freedom to the sacral, solar plexus, womb chakras, the chalice. Love and wealth are now restoring in the flesh. Rest as purification of the lower chakras completes itself. The heart chakra is now grounding through the womb chakra, through the feet, and into the womb chakra and the heart chakra of Mother Gaia. This is union of the flesh with the land as part of the immortal DNA blueprint that is now rapturing the flesh. The Divine Masculine Christ have seen the truth of their emotions through the eyes of the Most High Yahweh. With new clarity exposes the truth and the lies in their life. Mastery has occurred as they now realize they are Lion Kings of Judah and always have been. Collectively, the Divine Masculine Christ are returning to their original Lion Order as Kings of Christ. They are maturing into this embodiment now. Nothing can stop this. The Divine Masculine Christ have embraced this change of their heart, releasing the old narcissistic self for good. That entity no longer controls or manipulates them or you. The karma has collapsed so the Divine Masculine Christ can clearly see their Bride of Christ, adorned for her Bridegroom. Revelation 19.7-19.9 through 19, 9. 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. 
ate, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. 9. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called into the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, They are the true sayings of God. This massive collective shift of timelines occurring today is opening new directions, doors, and opportunities for you to rise up with your crown on. Health, youth, and beauty are restoring, filling your grail cup. Collect and receive back all that was stolen, including your dharma, in the original divine blueprint that is rightfully yours. All praises to the Most High. Alleluia. Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames and today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. The sprouting of new life on new planet Earth. Opportunity is beckoning. New horizons, new beginnings, new life. The seventh dimensional vibrational frequency band of the new Earth is now making itself felt in immensely powerful ways. And truly those who are now stepping into the new Earth and totally leaving the old Earth behind forever will find a new and stupendously vibrant life force entering them, lifting ever higher and higher and indeed into a totally new life in a totally new world. It's life beyond anything we ever experienced on old earth. Indeed, the new life now sprouting forth is one of harmony and beautiful balance, of co-creatorship and thus highest soul mastery. It is unlike anything we ever lived or encountered before. While we are still in the old earth and the 3D, we cannot even imagine the freedom which the new earth is bringing, and with it balance, harmony, and thus life in a much higher dimensional vibrational frequency band. This goes beyond anything science fiction could ever churn up, and indeed it is multidimensional. For from the seventh dimension, access is granted to even higher dimensional states, and indeed moves up in levels of creation, not even known to man as yet. Indeed, in this moment there is a vital force, a powerful life force, moving through those souls who already have left the old earth behind, and this is going to escalate. Indeed, new seeds of life are sprouting forth from deep within. The most powerful cosmic energies are pouring in as more and more keys and codes are activated within these souls to jog the soul memory banks and to assist them to navigate the new earth and the higher dimensional frequency bands. And more than this, to fully start to adopt a much higher light body form and co-create from deep within. For the new creation is one of harmony and balance within. It means to take full responsibility for every thought you think, your own self-talk, every word you speak or write, every action you take or do not take. Indeed, life on New Earth is like this. You are the artist and you have this clean canvas in front of you. First you close your eyes and you feel deep love and inspiration filling you as you are at one with the divine and embrace the highest divinity within you as you step fully into your highest soul truth as a master. You now have crystal clear clarity of what you wish to co-create from your heart and soul and with great love. You have a palette filled with new earth colors and paintbrushes which are higher dimensional. You can now co-create the most magnificent, vibrant, harmonic life in all ways you can imagine or not imagine. Indeed, as you start painting, you become a divine instrument and the new creation takes on shape and form which is truly magical beyond your own imaginings. The more you paint and create, the more inspired you become. Indeed, love co-creating the new golden age with great love that you literally step into the painting you are creating and become it. This is the new life on new earth. Miracles are indeed happening right here and right now. From JudithKusel.com Today from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose, Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key, 37, Mayor of 73, Heaven on Earth, February 24th through March 1st, 2021. Weakness, Equality, Tenderness. Through the 37th gift, you will discover a great economic secret. The more you give, the more you receive. Many people have misinterpreted this truth down the ages and have wondered why it does not appear to be true. Giving cannot be fake. You can give from your mind and you can give from your heart. Giving from your mind is always conditional, no matter how subtle, because it always has a secret expectation or hope attached to it. True giving is an act of insanity when viewed from the mind. 
The giving that comes from being in your heart leads to equality because it is based upon equality. Excerpt from the Gene Keys. And from the classic book of change, the Yi Ching, hexagram 37, the human family. Wind carries the wild fire. The invisible breath connects all in this gift of life. Tenderness is clarity of rapture. Equality is intuitive lightness. Weakness is the unease of desire, intentional passion. The superior man speaks the truth and is consistent in his behavior. When we look at the world that doesn't seem that fair, it doesn't seem as though we're equal, yet the gene keys are all about genius. This is where we are equal, we're equal to the task we're given, but only if we don't cave in. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah, Whitehorse, Lua Astrology. Lunar Aspects, Pluto and Capricorn, Trine, Asteroid, Flora and Taurus. The moon's leap into lively Leo moves us away from an earlier intense atmosphere. Nightmares and bad dreams are forgotten as the mood lifts. With the moon passing through the sign of the sun, we're drawn to light, color, creativity. Our inner child bounces up and down with excitement at things adults miss. See the world through a child's eyes to recapture joy. The movement between the heavyweights Pluto and Flora reminds us that growth always comes after decay. The difficult experiences of the past become the fertilizer for life's fragrant flowers. Today's aspect is a powerful push to tend projects that are close to your heart. Even if you can't see developments, trust that the more effort you make, the stronger the roots will grow. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today, from Harmonic Convergence 2020 through 2028. Today is 34 years from Supernova 1987A. A new human is emerging. February 23rd through the 24th, 2021, NS 1.33.8.17-18 marks the 34th anniversary of the discovery of the supernova 1987A, Quetzalcoatl. According to the biosphere, noosphere, transition timeline, the supernova signaled the entrance to a new stage of the evolution of life on Earth. It served as the celestial trigger event, unlocking dormant life codes and a DNA mutation process that is supposed to reach its peak in 2027 through 2028. What we are talking about in terms of the biosphere, noosphere transition is that we are preparing for a solar galactic biomutation. Bio is life, hence a mutation of life that is in accord with a much larger solar galactic mutation that is now occurring. This was signaled a few months before the harmonic convergence by the appearance of supernova 1987A, the first supernova that the humans had seen since before the beginning of the 13th Bakhtun. Harmonic resonance through space and time. The harmonic convergence of 1987 took place on Kin 55, 55 of the year coded by Kin 34. This 34th anniversary is therefore in perfect harmonic relationship with the unfolding sequence of Fibonacci spiral, 7227, synchronization portal. It is also relevant to note that this 34th anniversary is synchronizing with the day one manique on the indigenous Maya account. One manique corresponds to Kin 27, one hand, on the Zolkin harmonic module. In other words, this special day on the galactic Maya account, Kin 72, is perfectly mirrored by the equivalent on the indigenous Maya account, Kin 27. The number 72 also holds the resonance of the pentagonal cycle of Earth and Venus via the 72 degree angle interval in between the five conjunctions that takes place over eight years. We stand on the cusp of ascetic supernova. The number of those in whom the Cedis are manifest will very shortly increase in the world as a great incarnation takes place on the physical plane. This incarnation represents the third aspect of the Holy Trinity, the Divine Feminine Spirit. 
However, this incarnation will not be a single being. It will be a collective spirit using a specific constellation of beings, each occupying a core fractal. The process of the incarnation of the Divine Feminine will last many generations, but its final result will be the purification of all the fractal lines throughout humanity, resulting in the burning up of the collective karma stored in human DNA and the eventual eradication of all disease on the physical plane. Richard Rudd, The Gene Keys from Harmonic Convergence 2028. From the Zolkin Times today, Kin 72, Yellow Resonant Human. Resonant is the name for the number seven, and its keywords are channel, free will, and attune. Number seven days are all about using your intuition, trusting your gut instincts. We all have this ability, but sadly, too often we ignore what we feel. If you look back in your life, I bet you can think of countless incidences where mistakes were made because you didn't listen to your intuition. Listen carefully. Spirit is always trying to send you messages. You just need to tune in to your receiver. Today is yellow human, which happens to be the most psychic sign, and so we have a combination of number and day, which are almost identical in meaning. Today is the most powerfully psychic day in the Zolkin. Take advantage of this and tune into the cosmos. You will know exactly what to do today and all the decisions and choices you make will be beneficial if you trust that inner voice. It is subtle so you must chill out and be calm. This fine tuning of your reception will facilitate incoming messages. Today's guide is a yellow seed which represents sowing awareness. The desire to share knowledge will guide your actions today, implying that what we channel we must share. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Yellow Resonant Human, Kin 72, 24 February 2021, Attuning to Divine Wisdom, 24 to 2021 equals 625 equals 67 equals 13 equals 4, 24 Charisma, Magnetism, Joy, 6 Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Family, 2 Twins, Partners, Cooperation, 5 Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Initiation. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. Kin 72 equal 9. Divine Destiny Code. A powerful galactic activation portal day focusing on divine wisdom and seeding future potentials. Day 7 in the White World Bridger wave spell of surrender, letting go, forgiveness, networking, and building bridges. Today we are attuned to spirit, channeling messages in order to inspire others, sharing the new opportunities arising to bridge worlds. Tone of Creation Resonant Tone 7 in the emotional realm, action inspires, power channels, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the new timelines and potentials today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel the magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. So it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as transmitters to the etheric realm. At tone 7, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical 7 understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all, number 7 is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which strengthens our ability to affect real change and transformation in our lives. What channel are you attuned to today? What is possible for you and which potentiality will you choose to energize? Get ready for purely divine partnership. We are all but conduits for the divine will to flow through us. Open to the magic and be receptive to the voice of God, Goddess. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today's question is how can I attune to divine guidance, channeling wisdom, to co-create the most profound potential I can accomplish in this lifetime. Divine blessings for your attunement to your bestest ever potential timelines. Go with the path of least resistance. Go with the flow. And la kek a la kin. Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger. Kin 66. Kin 72. Yellow, Resonant Human. 
The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to influence. Inspiring wisdom, I seal the process of free will. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of flowering. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this beautiful, powerful day of galactic activations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you are experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone for their support and continued support, your pledges on Patreon and your donations. We rely on your donations and pledges for our daily living expenses. We have reached just beyond halfway to what we need to keep bringing these messages to all of you every day. We're inching our way closer and closer to fully manifesting this first dream and then the next stage is manifesting a healing retreat center but first we need our daily expenses met before we can do that and it's because of all of you that are making these pledges and donations that we're able to continue our work and today we uploaded day 16 of our saint germain i am discourses at 33 day training a course of the power of manifestation through your I am process, your I am presence. There are no new pledges today, so thank everyone for your continued support. If you'd like to support our work and mission of the Eagle and Condor, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. We have many trainings, Qigong, we have a guided meditation from my sacred Condor and I, a song, music, many different things. So Join us there and many more great things to come. So I'd like to also thank today Soleil St. Germain for your donation. We appreciate you, Angel of the Light. And this synchronizes with our St. Germain Violet Flame training, the power of prosperity, abundance, and manifestation. So we have a link in the description below also to our PayPal if you'd like to make a one-time donation. And I'd like to also take the time to thank everyone supporting my Condor, my Queen's art business on Etsy. She has many beautiful goddess totems and a couple handmade felted wool purses, beautiful works of art. You can support her and check out her art on lunagoddessart.com. We appreciate each and every one of you. Now today, we are going to end the transmission with a powerful activation codes of Divine Bro Star of the Light Li Parore of the Huna Nation. Sense of self anchored in bodies, energy form, two entwined aspects, lovers not, eternity thread, genetic royal flame star drive, naval energy amplifier, Oscillator power, multiverse tuner, lower back, spring vortex, 24D, axial line, energy flow, conductive tree of life, kidney, chi, storehouse, liquid battery for light, electrical blood, life force, lungs, life exchange, solar plexus portal, galactic fractal impulse, heart presence sound, cosmic consciousness, flash of eternal light, Piezo electric interface, information helix, DNA, nature superintelligence, water everywhere, memory, hourglass, toroid, matrix, density, continuum, wave, Polaris North Star, Hydra Orion South Star, Lemuria, equatorial power, quantum starship, Alpha, Zero, Omega, living light, golden seal, footnote. Abracadabra code, creation clock, 5-5, five, five, mirrored, 2-2, two, two, magic circle, Xbox set, parallel worlds, timelines, expanding to and from, switchboard, dark to light, royal star, potentiality, back to first estate, March 4, America, Genesis 3, resurrection, love expression, I am to we are. 
So thank you for joining us today, and thank you for supporting us in our mission of activating heaven on earth through our I Am presence. And remember the code, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life, the sacred light, the eternal light of the eternal bliss consciousness of cosmic consciousness, Christ consciousness, Buddha awareness, meaning the awakened one manifest in the many. So keep walking your sacred path with heart and rising into the ascension of the flames of eternal freedom, prosperity, health, wellness, and love. Everything in perfect balance, perfect harmony, and perfect resonance. I am the presence filling my world with perfection this day and every day. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.